I'm Fiona. This is my exhibition, Sinking and Floating. It's a collaboration with myself and Steve Praskos, who's a sound artist and composer. Um, so I worked on the paintings and we collaborated together on this projection work and um, sort of soundscape for the work. So the project sort of began in, when I did a residency in Sydney. We'd, we'd proposed the show already and we were interested in the, um, I guess the poetic associations with water that, that we have, um, particularly in Australia and our sort of coast hugging um, tendencies. And we, the work kind of developed from there to be interested in um, the way that the sort of relational aspects of um, the way that waves could talk about the infinite formation of um, invisible forces. So when you think about um, waves and sound waves and light waves, um, I became more concerned with the way that light reflected off water and capturing that. Um, so began with a lot of photographs and um, collecting videos. And as soon as I started translating those into paintings, um, the, the infinite possibilities of how the photograph would get translated into a painting became really fascinating for me. Um, and that's how, the, that's how Steve and I started um, thinking together about the idea. So for him, it was the iteration of the sound and trying to create a sort of um, soundscape that represented a waterscape. So the sound starts in quite a, um, uh, uh, I guess, a static, or, you know, staccato way, and then develops into more deep sounds. So you kind of move through the water with the sound. Um, and the idea then is to sort of move, should we move along? Move yeah. along um, to different, um, I guess, watery spaces. Uh, so. The, the more representational paintings bring a bit of narrative to the work, but then most of the work is um, a little bit abstracted because it is working with a sort of patterned surface. Um, so, yeah, these, these works, um, I guess, are, are smaller studies. They don't have the sort of projection happening on them. But um, they, yeah, I was sort of interested in in how the, I mean, painting is one of those materials where there's a million ways you can lay it down. Um, and working with something like water, um, it became more apparent that the way that water can form, it's, there's no sort of uh, logical way that it, that it forms. So um, any choice in, in how to, what to what to leave out, what to include, um, how much texture to apply, um, those sorts of decisions um, started to get me thinking about the, the infinite possibilities of, of water, and that I guess that um, what, what Steve's really interested in is that non-Newtonian um, physics and quantum quantum um, ideas of uh, yeah invisible forces of sound and light, but for me it's still about that sort of poetic connection to water that we all have. Um, they're, they're obviously not sort of clear um, water surfaces, they're, they're all quite deep and dark, and I'm interested in that um, connection between the, the comfort of, of a water surface and the aspiration and longing that is attached to that, but also the, the menacing undertones and um, how that could perhaps be connected to the metaphor of um, undercurrents and the, the, the many things that happen to allow this surface to happen. So whether it's a boat passing by or, um, or I don't know, even, even sound waves from talking near water, perhaps that creates some sort of patination. Um, the beating of a, of a fish fin or a school of fish can all sort of impact the way that these patterns form. So um, the, both those sort of um, physical characteristics as well as the poetic characteristics kind of go, go hand in hand in the way that I was thinking about this body of work. Um, 
Yeah, so, and then I, I saw the um, Brian Blanche star show turn up and I decided to, um, that the, the addition of this sort of painted edge and the sort of coloured reflection that happens would be a really nice addition to, to the way that this gallery operates and the lighting track's quite close to the work so it allows for quite an intense um, reflection to happen. Um, so there were a few, few last minute decisions that happened and a lot of the projection work was um, happened quite um, during the install, we sort of put it all together then. So the work sort of evolved right up until the opening night, which was quite a nice way to work. So yeah, um, it was a really great experience to be able to work collaboratively, but also have our own sort of take on a, on a concept. And um, yeah, thank you to ECU for hosting us here. Thanks, V. Great.